Hi everyone, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here and welcome back to another educational style video. In today's video, you are going to be seeing me make mistakes doing CPR. You are going to see me excelling at doing CPR and that's what this video is about. I recently partnered with Code One Training Solutions down here in Atlanta with the agreement of them allowing me to use their space to create content and in return, me doing a review video on their beacon system, which is RQI and one of their employees meshed in all to one for a CPR class. I've never seen a concept anything like this and it was really enjoyable and that's what you all will be able to see today. But don't just think this is just a review video because there is a lot of learning that can come out of this video today. In some parts of this video, I will be showing you purposeful mistakes that I am making so you can see the computer system and see how it will correct you. But also, I did make mistakes during the CPR and during this training, so you will be able to see that and you will be able to see what real CPR looks like. Before we get this video started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video, that would help me out so much. But other than that, here we go. Jackie behind me on the screen and she is going to be the prompt the entire way through she's going to walk me through this whole system she actually already pulled up the RQI for me on the computer I didn't even have to do that myself which was really nice because I always forget my password so she is going to start this and she is going to walk me through this entire process good morning <laughs> so the deal with the RQI system is that it's an amazing system that prompts you through everything so as as we go along, it will actually provide you with that live feedback. So it will say things like push harder, push faster, push slower, whatever it is you need to do, it's going to go ahead and provide that to you. Now these mannequins have already been decontaminated for your safety, which is absolutely great. And um, now we are going to go ahead and show you a little bit of a video here on that laptop. So as we go through, I'll show a couple of videos. Yep, that pivots and swivels, so that makes it nice and easy for you. Great. And um, so once we go through the videos, we'll go through a little bit more in detail about exactly what to anticipate. Uh, we'll run through the skills and get you through this. Okay. Awesome. So let me go ahead and show you the first one because we are gonna be working on that adult and child mannequin. Okay. Adult and child compressions. You'll perform 60 continuous compressions. Remember to ensure proper hand placement and compress to a depth of at least two inches or five centimeters at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Minimize your interruptions. You'll receive feedback during your assessment to improve your performance. All right, excellent. I'll go ahead and get this laptop going for you and you'll follow the prompts. Start pushing when you are ready. Don't compress quite so deep. Don't compress quite so deep. So just ease up a little bit on those steps. There you go, great. Don't compress quite so deep. Very good. Very good. Very good. Don't compress quite so deep. Thank you, you can stop now. Go. I passed. <laughs> So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and practice some rescue breathing. So on an adult that does have a good pulse, but they are not breathing, we would give one breath every six seconds. And let me go ahead and show you this video. Okay. And in this video, they do stand behind the mannequin, but you can stand behind them or on the side of them, whichever you prefer. So again, another little video for you. I have a feeling it's 100%. And it is. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I feel like you've done this before. You are fantastic. Okay. I have. <laughs> 
Now what we get to do though is we get to put it all together and we get to work with a virtual partner and this is where we get to practice our 30 and 2. Okay. So I'm going to show you the video for this one first and then I'm going to explain a little bit more after. Okay. Okay. okay so what's going to happen first is the computer is going to kick it off with those 30 compressions. Then it's going to stop and allow you to give your two breaths. Because in this set they do not have a pulse and they are not breathing, it is going to be breath breath, not the one every six seconds that we just practiced. In that last set, they did have a pulse, so in this one they do not, okay? After you give your two breaths, the computer will immediately pick back up with those 30 compressions. You will again finish that off with the two breaths. Okay. At the end of that second cycle, it will also tell you to switch places. So now you're going to do 30 compressions, and it's really important that you stop on 30, and then, just like I said, stop at 30, they will give those two breaths. Okay. And then we'll continue on from there. So basically it's two cycles and then two cycles and then we go back and forth for another two. Oh, okay. All right. yeah, Let me know when you're ready. I'll go ahead and get this started for you. And again, you're going to be first up on BDM. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Great. 1, 2, 3, Excellent. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's switch positions after ventilating. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good. Great. Now 30 compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Don't compress quite so deep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. doing well. Excellent. Yes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wonderful job. 99. Excellent score. Here we go. Do you have any questions for me on child or adult CPR? I think I'm okay. I think I'm good. All right. Perfect. Then we're going to head over to that infant mannequin and we're basically going to repeat all of the exact same steps. So we're going to start off again with those 60 continuous compressions. So if you want, you can head on over there. You can go ahead and move that laptop and your uh, yep. camera there if you'd like. All right. So what we're going to do, like I said, is those 60 continuous compressions with no pausing okay. or stopping. You do want to make sure that you let that chest come all the way back up and before you put it all the way back down. And follow the prompts. Start pushing when you are ready. Compress a little deeper. Place your fingers on the center of the chest. So you can bring them up a little bit higher. A little go. deeper. Don't compress quite so fast. Very good. Compress a little deeper. Good. Great. Compress a little deeper. Thank you. You can stop now. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. That's not terrible. That's great. These guys are really tricky. And even the rescue press, which we're going to practice next, mm -hmm. they can be really tricky as well. Okay. So just getting the feel for it. And um, yeah, so absolutely great. 90%. You'll provide 12 breaths with the bag mask device. Remember to open the airway and give one breath every two to three seconds. Counting out loud helps. One, two, breath, one, two, breath, one. Make sure you see two, visible chest rise breath, with each breath. One, You'll two, receive feedback breath, during your assessment to improve your performance. Please give 12 breaths to the mannequin at a rate of one breath every two to three seconds. Just keep ventilating and follow the prompts. Start ventilating when you are ready. You're one, doing well. Two. One, two. Very good. One, two. One, two. 
Just a little less one, air. One, two. One, two. You're doing well. One, two, three, four. Just a little less one, air. One, two, three, four. Give breaths more one, often. One, two. One, two. That's right. One, two. Thank you. You can stop now. So, just like before, we're going to go ahead and put everything together with our virtual partner. Okay. Because we have a partner and we are working on infants and children, it does change that ratio to 15 compressions followed by two breaths. So, again, the computer will actually start it off by doing the first 15 compressions. You will then give your two breaths and every two cycles will switch just as we did before. Okay. Any questions for me before we get started on this last one? Nope, I think we're good. Excellent. I will go ahead and get that computer going for you one last time. Remember to count out loud when giving compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Breath, you're doing well. One, two, three, four, five. Let's switch positions after ventilating. Ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Switch now. 15 compressions. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're doing well. 1, 2, 3, Four. This 98%. Year? Excellent job. And that's what the screen looks like. Excellent. How about any other questions on any of the other modules that they showed you? The use of an AED or choking? Um, the AED real quick. Um, Absolutely. So I was a little bit confused because I've never had to use an AED before. Um, for when you have only adult AED pads present, you don't have the pediatric or infant ones. You can use adult pads on children and you can on an infant? You absolutely can. So okay. from one and up, you can absolutely use those adult pads. Um, the only difference is the pads just can't be so close that they're almost touching. It doesn't have a very good connection. So in those situations, you would want to put one in the, in the, on the front of the chest and then one right between their shoulder blades on their, on their posterior and their backside. Okay. So you make a little kid sandwich or a baby sandwich out of them. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. We get to see everything that you're doing. We're just yeah. COVID safe so that we can see everything. Like I said, just as if I'm in the room with you, I mm -hmm. engage, guide you through any of the processes, but you didn't need much feedback because you're amazing. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so it worked out really well. So um, once you log into your account and you launch your BLS course, these icons that were previously grayed out have now turned a very pretty blue. The one that you want is right here at the end where it says view e-card. You will be able to print it. You'll be able to download it to any device. I actually have mine saved on my laptop and my cell phone. It's super convenient now. There's no waiting. Once upon a time, we have, used to have to wait weeks to get our cards. It is immediate, which is awesome. And you'll have this for the next two years. Perfect. That is perfect. Awesome. Any other questions I can help you with? No, I think that is it. <laughs> awesome. So perfect. And then our only other thing that we need is <laughs> resetting that station for that next person. So we'll have you wipe down and decontaminate that yep. for our next participant. Very good. All right. I will get through that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.